10 win improvement from last year's team and the Commodores start with the ball. Here they are in the NCAA tournament. How did they get here? The biggest thing is they got healthy. Columbia only the second Ivy League team ever to earn an at-large bid. They were the last team in this tournament. And they want more. Susie Raffu. Well, Vanderbilt certainly has the size advantage. And an offensive rebound leads to two. Abby Shu, her terrific career at Columbia, has the ball here. Dumps it off. Raffu back-to-back buckets for Susie Raffu, the sophomore. Cecilia Collins in attack mode. Dumps it off. And it's Raffu again. She has all six to start the night for Columbia. Also feels like both these teams are still settling in a bit. Like, like we talked about, first NCAA tournament for pretty much every player on this floor. Offensive rebounding is going to be a key for them. Sasha Washington is the kind of player that Columbia just doesn't have that body type on their roster. Right on cue, Washington delivers. Commodores had missed their last seven shots before that Washington make. Kitty Henderson in the lane, off the window and in for two. Vanderbilt trying to get something in transition, and they do. There's a reason Ayanna Moore, second team All-ACC, love the Euro combined with went from last year winning just 12 games to this year in the NCAA tournament. Shoe pull up three, got it! Abby Shoe. She has the Ivy League record for career made threes, and that's why. One of the prettiest jumpers you will see in this entire NCAA tournament. It is just textbook perfect. Moore. And then how about Ayanna Moore coming right back at her? That's where they thought they were headed again. And instead, here they are in the first four, trying to play their way in to the field of 64. Five seconds left to the opening quarter, Cambridge. Finds Washington, Sasha Washington off the window for two to tie it at 13. What a tough shot, wow. This is a player six as an assistant at UConn. It used to be filling out your bracket, all you needed to do was put in the Huskies. <laughs> Not that easy anymore. Ripped away though, Kitty Henderson never gave up on the play. Shue lines up a three and connects. Abby Shue, two for two for three. And Shue battles for the ball. Up ahead, Nicole Stevens. She's rejected. Great hustle, Jordan Oliver. You know, one player that has played in the NCAA tournament is Jordan Oliver. And just a perfect block, making sure she doesn't make any contact. That's three straight possessions that Vanderbilt has caused a Columbia turnover. Columbia's done a good job of getting back. They have not let Vanderbilt get easy looks in transition even when they've turned the ball over. Stays with Columbia. Good look, Henderson. And it drops in. A fortunate bounce for Kitty Henderson. And it's a three. Is off that offensive board. Great board by Rafu. Thought every time you touched the ball was a good time to shoot a three. Just an appetizer in the first four before the first round tips off on Friday. Good look inside, Washington, an easy finish. The defense collapsed on her and she was able to hit a slipping Washington. CC Collins, she's starting to find a groove. Right back to Washington. Give and go with Oliver, and that rims in for Jordan Oliver. Ayanna Moore in attack mode, leaves it for Washington, and Sasha Washington continues a terrific first half. They have definitely grabbed momentum here with a little more than two minutes remaining in the first half. Dump down low, it's too easy right now. Vanderbilt and Columbia trying to keep those dreams alive in this NCAA tournament, and right now it is all doors. Camille Pierre again inside. They have all the momentum to start this third quarter. Cambridge lost the handle, deflected out of bounds. It'll stay a Vandy basketball. Fliss Henderson, the freshman, goes inside. Collins, the reverse layup is good. And a couple of misses for Vanderbilt at the start of this third quarter. 
And it's allowed the Lions to make it a six-point game just like that. Hear those comments from the two head coaches in the game inside the game as a big three is drilled by Justine Passat. Why are we putting someone in who's only about 500? Why not put us in? And she's fighting for her team, and I totally get that. And, you know, Vanderbilt has 22 wins. Vanderbilt's not the team that's Correct. 17 and 14. But I just thought it was an interesting theme. Jordan Cambridge, feet inside. Passat, not there, but there to clean up the spill. Sasha Washington. She secures her ninth double-double of the season. She has come to rebound today. Columbia answers inside. Fliss Henderson, the freshman, delivers. Five minutes remaining in this third quarter, and it's a five-point lead for Vanderbilt in the first four. The Baylor Bears awaiting the winner of this one. Count it, plus the foul. That shoe has been guarding her, and this is just a great, strong take to the rim. Ayanna Moore was coming off an injury. Jordan Cambridge coming off an injury. You, you have to imagine they're not going to be what they once were, and, and arguably they've both been better. They battled back to make it a three-point game. Shot clock down to three. They go inside. Washington. How good has Sasha Washington been tonight? Passat. Good take. Couldn't finish it, though. Up ahead, CeCe Collins lays it up and in. Great transition. Riley Weiss. Moore. Got it. Ayanna Moore drills it from deep. She has the hot hand for Vanderbilt, leading the way with 14. Down the lane, got it, plus the foul. Ayanna Moore has taken over. Ayanna Moore, they can't guard. Ayanna Moore getting to the rim, finishing through contact, and showing them, that's right, you can't guard me. And off for Moore, she's had the hot hand. Misfires there, offensive rebound, plus the foul. Justine Passat. The wing, but good job crashing the glass here and then going right back up with it. How cool is that to have Katie Lou on your scout team if you're Vanderbilt? I don't, I'm sure the players don't love it because she probably torches them every now and again, Jay. <laughs> but it helps them on game day. Here's Abby Shue, pull up. Got it! Woo. Abby Shue on the sideline. Moore with 16 points to her name, passes off to Washington. Back out to Moore, wide open. Lines up the three, buries it! Ayanna Moore delivers again. It advanced to face Baylor on Friday. Camille Pierre, she has the size advantage and she cashes in again. Washington, double teamed, passes out of it. Gets it back, Sasha Washington. What a performance, 14 points, 14 rebounds for the junior. 10 point lead for Vandy. Great take, scoop to the hoop, Kitty Henderson. Lions continue to battle their first ever appearance in the NCAA tournament in program history. Washington ruining the party though, back to back buckets for Sasha Washington. Columbia in now or never territory. The freshman Henderson off the window and in for two. Timeout Megan Griffith. Making a little bit of a mistake even though she's played a great game for Vanderbilt. And that's Pierre's fourth foul. Under two minutes here for three. Henderson got it. And that's why you bring the ball back out. Gordon Cambridge came out to talk to Camille Pierre. As you see, big shot by Kitty Henderson, who has played so well in this second half. Vanderbilt not even looking at the rim. Good job by Oliver to meet that pass. Deep three by Moore, buries it! Nothing but the bottom of the net for Ayanna Moore. Kitty Henderson knows it. Drives down the lane, lays it up for two, plus the foul. And I like the decision. You don't necessarily need a three, but you need a quick point. And look at that crossover. And then get the and one. So you got your. Missed it. But ball bounces out. A deep three. No good. Collins follows it up. And it's a two point game. 3.1 seconds remaining. And that ices it for Vanderbilt. Abby Shue heaves up a three. 
And Vanderbilt is moving on. Jay Ralph in her first appearance to the NCAA tournament as a head coach clings to a four point victory at Vanderbilt will face the Baylor Bears on Friday. What a performance by Vanderbilt. Sasha Washington and Ayanna Moore so clutch for the Commodores. And it's been quite a while since they've won an NCAA tournament uh, game, Jay. First time since 2013.